the whole point of this trip was just to prove to myself that even if I picked something ridiculous and impossible to try, I could do it with enough determination. And really, I just, I wanted to discover myself and learn more about the world. I always knew that I didn't want to go to college immediately. I still don't know if I want to go when I go back. I always wanted to do some great adventure after high school. And the idea of running away for some extended amount of time has always been appealing to me. And then I found out about bike touring and I decided I'm going to do the longest possible one I can do just to prove to myself I can do it. The way people reacted when I first told them about my trip was probably how you would expect. Everyone just kept telling me, oh, you're going to die, you're going to die, you're going to die. And so after hearing that so much, I just kept thinking it was going to be true. And after biking through Mexico, I realized how just how unrealistic it was to be scared. It was an amazing time. I haven't been scared since. To be honest, the, the, like the day I started doing my bike trip in Alaska was the first day I had ridden a bike in over seven months. I had never even been on one that year almost. And so it's kind of like, I didn't train at all. People need to realize I'm not some crazy special person. I'm not some crazy athlete, you know? Anyone can do what I'm doing. Like, you just have to start. Bike touring is a very minimal way of living. Just as long as you have a place to sleep and you have food, you can keep going. I pretty much camped the entire thing. And so for my entire trip, since I had started Mexico, I haven't had data. I haven't had data for one single day. Um, basically what I do is I just always look for Wi-Fi when I can, and I just download offline Google Maps. That works pretty well for me. I haven't gotten lost too much. The good thing about staying on the highways is they usually just go one way. Pretty much every single day I go south. And as long as I know that I'm headed south, then I'm going in the right direction. Through my trip, I've been robbed five times. Thankfully, none of those times were violent. They all happened either when I was sleeping or pickpocketing me. So I've never had any violence on my trip. So I called my mom on someone else's phone and basically just told her exactly what happened. Hey mom, I got robbed in Mexico. I don't have a phone or wallet anymore. And I think I probably aged her like two years of her life from that experience. Every single time that I've been robbed on my trip, my mom used it as an excuse to try to get me to come home. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't listen to her because now I'm here in Ushuaia and I'm happy to say that I made it. You can go travel. You can do it on a budget. You don't need to be rich. I don't come for money. I think it's important to be educated about what's out there. Like so many people live in ignorance to different cultures and countries and people. And I think that inspires a lot of hate. If everyone could see the world and meet all the people in it, I think it would be a way better place.